Welcome back to After the Whistle. I'm David Gibson. I'm here in Surrey learning from the Mustang football team about defense, especially the corner position. You know, when kids come out, not a lot of kids want to play DB. You know, a lot of kids want to play linebacker on defense or DN. Um, you know, and it, it kind of, what I think is it stems from what they see on TV. Um, and so when we get kids that want to play DB, we kind of get excited for it. You know, and then we just got to teach them what we want for our program. Which, what kind of drills do you, or what kind of stance do you show your DB? So we, we want them to sit. It's almost like sitting on a toilet. Okay, we're gonna sit, we want our knees square, our toes square with the receiver, okay? And then we're just gonna backpedal and we just work on backpedaling, okay? Then when we get this, we get comfortable doing that, we walk back up, then we get back in a, in a sitting position, we backpedal, but we're backpedaling at an angle. So now we're gonna turn and we're gonna move, we're gonna weave with it, okay? <clears throat> um, and that's because we don't know where the receiver is going, you know, and this one is a tough one, so we're gonna do it again. So we're gonna sit, we're gonna weave, we're gonna go this way, then we're gonna turn and come this way. Then we're gonna turn and go back that way. There we go, okay? And the whole time our arms have to be moving, okay? Nobody walks with just their arms hanging down low, right? So we gotta move. That helps with balance, coordination, you know, being able to move, use your whole body. Be physical, don't allow them to run. You know, if you, if you can be physical and not allow them to run when we're in a certain coverage, we give ourselves a chance. Then there's other coverages where we kind of let receivers get off the ball a little bit, you know, but all of it is we, we just want to play fast 100%, 100% of the time. I like the press, you know, uh, you know, you just start off with a punch. You got to be real physical, get in their face. Even before the play, you just got to kind of get in their head, you know, walk up to them, just tell them a little something. <laughs> and then you always want to push them outside because inside routes are the worst. You can't, you don't want to let guys get inside of you so you gotta give them a good punch and then you want to force them outside basically what we're saying is the only route you we want you to run is a streak because we i think we can keep up with most of my receivers so you just turn and then you try to slap arm slap thigh you know turn back to their speed and then from there you and i've seen you guys you know get some couple interceptions you know what kind of things have you taught them to you know be able to be in that position and make the interception uh just just use your hands be physical you know run and find the ball man if you can find the ball and go get it that's that's awesome you know we we like to tell them just do you be you do you run you know run fast play fast play hard and find the ball now that i learned all about the fundamentals of defense in the corner position i'm gonna give it a shot let's see how it goes <laughs> You just gotta come in with a with a type of swagger that you're better than everyone. You know, that's just that's just how it is. Once you think that you work hard, you know, you work to get better. And that's just how it is. But it, it depends on the kid. Um, you know, we don't ask them to do much, just do their job. And as long as they do their job, you give your teammates a chance, you give yourself a chance. Um, so the confidence part I think comes with playing the position. You know. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I need that. <laughs> That's a confidence booster. That swagger, you know. How do you, how'd you get that swagger to be able to confident to go up there and you know tell the defender you're gonna get in their head? You know, it's just been work. It's work hard. You know, in the weight room, on and off the field, you gotta work hard. You know, and I think having that kind of attitude really helps build build up for you to get better coming up and tackle you know our, our db our corners are secondary edge defenders so they got to come up and tackle also which that can be tough sometimes as dbs are you know usually your smaller guys but man they got to have hearts of life <laughs> I need some cleats. I can't do it. Man, I got smoked a couple of times, you can see, but I didn't have cleats on, so I couldn't get traction or dig into the ground, and they had cleats on. But nevertheless, it was fun, and I learned a lot from the Surrey football program. Coach Mark Kennedy, Randy Polum, thank you so much for teaching me. I always wanted to play defensive back my whole life, but I didn't get to play football.